Since the scandal broke at the end of last week, um, CEO Martin Winterkorn, or for, former CEO, I should say, of Volkswagen, Martin, Martin Winterkorn, um, attempted to distance himself from the scandal, which was almost impossible given that he was very much in the spotlight with the finger of guilt pointed at him and a huge chorus of voices, especially here in Germany, calling over the last few days for him to resign, which he completely rejected. He said that he did not take responsibility uh, for for this, uh, for this defective software that uh, cheated emissions test. He said he had no knowledge of it. Um, but as the media was pointing out over the last few days, how could this man who was the CEO of the company and a very experienced engineer not know about this software? Well, it seems today that Fintercorn, after um, experiencing, which I'm sure was a very tough inquiry by the five leading executive committee members of Volkswagen supervisory board, uh, decided himself to resign as CEO. In his statement, he reiterated that uh, he had no knowledge of this defective software, that he was resigning in the interests of the Volkswagen Group. He was taking responsibility for what happened um, under, his, under his reign, but he still had no knowledge of it. So there's still many questions to be answered on how this software came into production and how widespread it is, of course, with Volkswagen saying today that as, as many of, as 11 million of their diesel cars could be fitted with this defective software. Jessica, we've seen the criminal investigation open in the U.S. Today, the French environment minister uh, saying uh, that this hoodwinked the public and polluted the air. Uh, what's the reaction of German authorities? Well, the reaction of the German government um, has been that of quite quiet out outrage, but certain outrage. Um, I think Sigmar Gabriel, the vice chancellor, certainly not mixing his words, saying that this was a, a terrible scandal. So too, as we've seen Angela Merkel calling for a full investigation. Uh, the Green Party, as you can imagine, have been particularly outraged. They're calling for an immediate and tough investigation to really get to the bottom of this, how widespread this is. Um, they, they're also alleging that the transport ministry in Germany may have also been involved, that they may have known about this uh, for longer and kept kept it quiet. So uh, the Transport Ministry also sort of implied in this scandal, which I'm sure this will continue to be investigated. But Germans themselves also completely outraged. People who I've spoken to, of course, Volkswagen, a very popular brand here, um, completely horrified. A lot of people here, especially in Germany, buy uh, Volkswagen cars because of its, its, its seems to be a pioneer when it comes to environmental consciousness and green energy. And uh, so it seems to be a really so sort of horrible irony. Um, and also, of course, Volkswagen, a much loved brand here and a brand that's been around for nearly 80 years. Um, and there's a quite a lot of concern here amongst the German public and amongst financial experts here that uh, this scandal that's hit Volkswagen could have a knock on effect on the made in Germany branding, which which has a very strong reputation. Uh, Germany is a, a very strong economy that's based on exporting a lot of manufacturing and engineering it's over one. A, billion, a trillion euros worth a year. Um, and if one of its most trusted and fam famous brands, the biggest car manufacturer in the world, um, could be involved in such a scandal, uh, could this then negatively... Um, it negatively imply, have a negative ramifications for other German brands. So there's a fair amount of concern here um, about that also. The impact on the Made in Germany brand, the impact on the worldwide auto industry. We'll be talking about it in the next hour in the France 24 debate. 